everybody, how's it going? You are about to watch an absolutely insane game of Risk Global Domination in which I was attacked by multiple aggressive noobs and the whole board was just completely wild. It's some pretty incredible stuff. If you're a chess player and you don't know how to play Risk, don't worry about it. You're gonna, it's going to make sense. You're, you get you get some troops, you try to take over the world, you want to take over continents to get more troops. It's really easy, you'll get it right away. But uh, I had to make a little bit of an intro for this one because I had some audio issues for like the first two minutes or so of this video. The audio is just going to be a little bit bad, but then it does correct itself magically then thankfully, because it was an insane game, and I really do hope that you enjoy it. Also, I've put it in colorblind mode, so some of the colors now, they have different shapes, so I am a little bit sensitive to anybody that has those kinds of issues. People let me know in the comments uh, that this would be helpful, so hopefully that is. If there's any questions or issues with it, just let me know, and I can fix whatever. So, uh, that being said, again, two minutes of bad audio. It's a little bit scuffed, but then it's totally fine, so enjoy the video and see how you can crush noobs when they're all just kind of randomly, ultraly, aggressively attacking you, no matter how many troops you got on each territory. Let's check it out. I had a request for uh, to make the pieces in the colorblind mode, which I have a lot of sympathy for, for anybody struggling to see. So this time, it looks like what it's done is the colors still look the same, but there's different shapes. There's like squares, clouds, uh, hexagon. Let's see if I know all of my shapes. I don't want to push it and claim that I know all these shapes. Circle. <laughs> Red uh, is in the first position, and it's very aggressively going for Australia. There's a ton of troops there. I suspect this could be bloody. Assuming, Let's see what yellow wants to do. If you are trying to take Australia, I would highly recommend you somehow let this six try to escape. I think that is fine. You better fortify this five down. Give the six a chance on the way out. I'll be in the fifth position. No. Black, red is trapping yellow in. I suspect that this is probably not the optimal play <laughs> from red. You know, let these guys out. If you're going to take a continent, let these guys out. We'll see how yellow <laughs> reacts to that. I just would hate to be in their shoes. Uh, orange is up next. Orange has a very large concentration up here in Asia. So it'll be interesting to see where they go. Orange hits red, loses three troops. It does a three on two. So I suspect that red and orange are not the highest rated players. Red maybe played slightly better than orange there, but uh, I'm not particularly worried about them. And the first kind of turn in chess is a lot like, uh, in chess, in risk is a lot like guess the elo in chess. You're just kind of trying to identify who the good and bad players are. And unlike chess, in chess you can't tell from like one move. If your opponent is a grandmaster or an amateur, they play one e4. That could be every beginner. That could be Magnus Carlsen. But in risk, you can really tell. So black, I, black is a splitting Sammy. <laughs> so I suspect black is also not a grandmaster or a master or anything. You probably don't want to split uh, on your first term. You just want to kind of let everybody know where you're going. Okay, we know black is going for South America. Just let people know where you're going, <laughs> what you want to do. And then uh, just make like one attack and get out of everybody's way. Let people go in and out of the continents. Let them get all their, all their people out of your continents. Yellow, I actually need to start thinking about my turn. I feel like it's realistic to think about Africa. It's realistic to think about North America. Yellow is adding into Europe. So I'll take Europe off the, the books. Oh, maybe yellow is actually going into North America. No, yellow is staying in Europe. So North America or Africa are both kind of reasonable plays. I kind of want to take Africa. I'm a little bit worried that black... What would a split... Would a splitting Sammy break me if I took Africa very slowly? The players are they? How do I get a card also? Eh... Okay, uh, I, don't, I don't like what I'm about to do. It's breaking all of my rules as well. No. Mm. I don't like this. <sighs> mm. Okay. Here's something weird. <laughs> I'm going to use this four just to get a card. I don't like hitting yellow. Because yellow is very clearly going for... 
I, there's two things that I don't like about my move, but I didn't know what else to do. I don't like hitting yellow if yellow is going for Europe, because even this small little decision to attack only one troop in their territory might mean yellow just gets the idea that they don't like me. Okay, this is also very bad. Purple is adding into Africa as well. Yikes. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, and you're a splitting Stevie as well? Okay, wait a minute. No, no, no. There's a bunch of bad things. And the other thing I didn't like is that I'm trapping, you know, red or purple from getting out by being here. I really thought if I put into Africa that purple would go for North America. But purple now is contesting Africa undisturbed that I have a nine in there. Oh, no. Okay. Um, we're going to have to work this out. Red... Eat your heart out. <laughs> Gonna take Australia. Get the six out the way. Okay, 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 okay. Red is red is decent. Red gets the troops out of the way and lets yellow out. Man, I should have just gone for North America. It was easy to get a card, too. There was a one. Ah, what is orange? Orange. I really couldn't tell you. <laughs> what they're doing. If Orange is honestly attacking this many troops, what I'm considering doing is smacking this two, I hate smacking a two, and getting out and being near Orange for a potential strike and then a very slow play into North America. I don't think anyone's going for North America. So maybe I can get out of everybody's way. Ugh. How about an alliance for now? Absolutely. You got it. Can hold my ground in Africa. Hmm. The thing is, if I get a wild card, I can definitely hold in Africa. But I'm going to have to fight so many purple troops. I think I need to get out. Red, he made an alliance because he's about to take South America. No, he's, okay, he's not ready to do it. A little bit worried about purple. This is probably correct. Black is playing very well. Oh, no, he does do it. Okay, all right. This makes it a little bit interesting. The earlier you take a continent, the more likely it is that somebody hits you. The people that could hit you are me and purple. I'm not going to be doing it. Um, and since these black troops are inevitably going to come this way down towards South America... Assuming that purple is actually getting these troops out, North America is not off the table, even though it's it's slow. I think I'm going no continent mode. I'm going to add in North America and get out of Africa. Yellow, how fast will you try to take Europe? I recommend a very slow approach. Very good. Okay. I think that's a very reasonable turn. And let's see if I can recover from an incredibly reg regrettable first turn. Let's make it known that I'm now switching. I'm going for North America. Let me try to make an alliance with purple. I didn't lose a troop. Amazing. I get out of purple's way. I offered them an alliance. Let's offer red an alliance. Red could easily mess up and die soon. Orange could easily mess up and die soon. Uh, let's yellow. I, I did one little mean thing against you, but it, I think we're cool. Purple does not accept. And purple continues to split troops all over. I wonder if the fact that so many kind of beginning players split their troops so much is that like when you play with bots, that's like how you learn the game. I'm not sure. Like the bots play like that. So maybe they just copy the bots, but it's not like chess where bots are like the, the be all end all. It's not stockfish. <laughs> the bots are actually quite worse in risk. Okay. Red down to 17 takes Australia. Well, I have a 12 kind of peeking in the corner. Um, you shouldn't learn to play Risk from the bots. <laughs> you got to learn from humans because the bots are not as good. 
compared to chess, if you're coming from a chess background. Uh, orange. Orange has been hitting a lot. So I have this 12 kind of just, just walking around. Like, if you're going to do four on twos and six on twos and lose all your troops, <laughs> I'm right behind you, Orange. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at it. It's kind of rude. But it is kind of funny. <laughs> just to see so many hits. <laughs> Orange down to 14 troops. Lost quite a lot. Oh, bl Black, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of there. I think Black just wants to take a card. But they've decided to do it in my, my future territory. Oh, it's a two for me. Actually, very friendly. Completely unnecessary. <laughs> but very friendly. I think Black is an overly friendly player that might go out of their way more than they should to help another player, which maybe is something we will have the potential to exploit. Discord message. Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. Okay. Yellow, I think, will continue to very slowly take. I'm, I am I kind of wish they hadn't taken... Are you serious? What? Sane? What? Oh. What? And that... Okay, I, I hit your territory. Like, all I did to pink or yellow was I one time hit their territory to get a card, and then I tried to go to Africa. I got not quite bullied out of Africa, but I didn't want to contest purple for Africa, and I decided to, on my next turn, put stuff into North America. Did just having that many troops near you make you that mad that you had to lose your mind and throw your game away? And now I'm on the chopping block. You're going to bot out. Do you, what? You were just done playing and you wanted to hit me and because I, I messed you up by one troop? My goodness. This is like the worst start to a game ever. I... Ah. <sighs> Was that a human? That was a human being that fortified. I'm offline right now. Yellow has bought it out. Oh, look. We were, we were on the verge of doing some big things. Here's what I'm going to do. Well, I can't do anything. I, I don't even want to block the bot. Here's what I do. I get out of everybody's way. And I try to live my best life in North America. Okay. I'm getting out of Black's way. I'm kind of hoping Black helps by getting out of here. But what I need the most right now is a card turn in, which I do not have. I need to survive until I'm able to turn in cards. It doesn't help that purple is, I think, immediately just going to wipe me out. Don't take my two, please. I need every troop I can get right now. And they're out of North America. Okay. Fair enough. And we just kind of cross our fingers, hope not to die. All right. Red. Cannot kill me, probably can't kill orange. If you're, if you're putting troops back here, I don't think you're much of a threat to anybody. What the heck is that? <laughs> what? This is how you intend on getting a card? Okay, it worked out. Three on one is not 100%. You need four on one to make it 100% with uh, the balanced blitz dice. Um, okay, whatever. No comment. You're, you're crushing me. <laughs> I have no comments on your play. You're crushing me. Orange turns in for 10. That is huge for orange because orange was not in tip-top shape. Orange maybe now could consider just going into Europe if they really wanted to. But Orange has been just kind of doing wild things, so... 
I, I couldn't tell you. I, I couldn't tell you. 14 on Japan. You know what? I didn't see it coming. We'll see what happens. Hits a three. Not afraid to hit big numbers. Loses five troops. And now hits black a little bit. <laughs> and splits troops kind of wildly. Just controlling a lot of territory. Has like a three-point bind going on in Asia. Not sure what they're planning on doing with it. Black is my ally. And my biggest hope is that Black eventually runs these troops out. It's... Yes! This is great. Purple was a little bit under-defended in Africa. And Purple and Black were kind of like the two top dogs now. You could argue Red is also like a very strong competitor here. But now we have a war between two other players. Which might buy me just enough time. All the way in? Oh. Do you put two in there? Wow, leaves the troops in. Oh, this is huge. Because now purple and black are going to beef. It, purple it, purple can't take back, but might. Purple might. I guess you turn in, you might be able to take this and crack into here. Oh, that's going to be a bloody war. Yellow is a bot. And yellow is going for Europe. I intentionally didn't put my big stack here. Because the bot tends... Uh, to put a bunch of troops wherever you have a big stack. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep my stack actually away from the bot if possible. Which I'm going to do for yet another turn. Um, I'll leave purple here. Ugh. Actually, we'll go this way. Black says thumbs down. Why? Why are you thumbsing me down? Black wanted me to hit purple. But you didn't tell me to hit purple. You didn't tell me. <laughs> you didn't say anything, bro. I think he wanted me to hit purple. But just ask nicely and I'll probably, I'll deliver on that promise. Purple does turn in, smacks black. And doesn't break into South America is I think trying to establish some sort of peace. I don't think purple wants war. I think purple wants peace. I mean, it's crazy to smack into black, but it was totally possible. I kind of did set myself up. Maybe black is just understanding that I am setting myself up to be able to kill anybody if possible. I have a, a wild card if I want to use it. I'm so low on troops that black could kill me. So I will trade in. I'll use a wild card. I'll do whatever I got to do to survive. Red takes out one of black's other positions in Asia. Might even take out a second. This would be like a, a very <laughs> aggressive move against the South American player if, if red eliminates them fully from Asia. See what orange does? It's always kind of a pleasure. I expect to see about four troops on the end of the turn <laughs> on China. If you're going to do this weird point guard thing, because you want a couple territory, you just want this territory all to yourself, you can do it with these three points. It's just kind of a good, there's this little chokehold <laughs> that if you can control both Mongolia and Siberia, you keep people out of going into North America. But let's see what orange does. Orange, please don't bot out. The last thing I would want in the world is a bot on this side of me and a bot on this side of me. And I'm just kind of squeezed here in the middle. I'm already off to a really rocky start and I'm just happy to be alive at the moment. Okay. Expected. <laughs> and look, you have another two point guard. See? So you can bring this four all the way down if this is your strategy. It's not a good strategy. But he actually does understand, like, the two-point guard system. So I'll give Orange credit for that. At least they have some understanding that, like, you don't need to actually add a bunch of random troops in here if this is your goal. Now, this is not a good strategy because you're going to be making red mad when you squish red in. And you're going to be making other players mad. 
Um, what does Black want from me? Okay, Black hates my guts. That's how I interpret that move. Leaving everybody here, not letting me take a continent. I think Black is saying I hate your guts. Mm, I was just thinking of killing pink <laughs> if they didn't have car or sorry yellow I was gonna kill yellow if they didn't have cards but they take a continent and black is denying me a continent I think it's because I didn't attack purple but I'm not 100% sure black didn't ask me to do anything or at least I didn't see black ask me to do anything so I don't know what the deal is Black has five cards and a continent. <laughs> Let's count him up. Attack yellow. I don't... It was way too risky to attack black. Look, I'm gonna... I'm gonna listen, but... I'm not... I mean, you're leaving an eight in my continent. Look, we're not best friends. I did attack yellow. I didn't take the continent, which is what you want me to do. But I'm just going to be chilling here. If I'm not getting a continent, I'm just chilling. I'm not going to be... Red is telling me to attack orange and attack yellow. <laughs> nah. Okay, look. I get it. I am I was getting crushed at the beginning. I actually have the most troops on the board right now. So maybe you guys should stop telling me what to do. Because I'm about to take charge of this game. I know it doesn't look like it. It looks like I can just barely struggle to maybe one day get a continent. I know the way it looks, but this is all part of the plan, okay? Stop telling me what to do. <laughs> I'm not in a position to actually go fight people right now. And look, I don't do it. Purple has to do the dirty work and waste their troops instead of me. And I'm kind of just biding my time, waiting to either kill yellow or black. Don't think that it'll happen because black has five cards. Yellow is a potential future kill, but they are a bot, so it's less desirable. And other than that, I'm going to very slowly try to get North America. Now, I don't understand what happens if I take North America. <laughs> black seems not to really like me, but is willing to work with me. Orange, I really have no idea what orange might do. And orange's next turn is probably to take here and, like, completely block red red sees this coming and is like kind of getting out of the way a little bit red and orange are gonna have some beef i understand why red is saying hey why don't you go kill orange but hey you got a continent why don't you take care of that mess by yourself <laughs> it's not my problem i forgot the part where that's my problem all right let's see what orange does oh ouch that was me bro you hit me. Orange is completely willing to hit big troops. Not that two is a big number. But uh, I don't really understand Orange's play. <laughs> if this was not a bot, and this was a human player that's just kind of getting Europe, my troops would definitely be over here waiting to try to kill Orange. Now let's see if Black is friendly or not. Turns in for four. I, you know, if you ran up here and you tried to get another position, I wouldn't be mad. <clears throat> Here's the thing about Black's position. Okay, well, Black is just going to deny me North America while also requesting that I hit this person and that person. Okay, so we're not friends. I cannot work with Black. Black is card blocking me. If Black put a bunch of troops up here and they, like, at least were making it look like they were trying to go <laughs> over here... I would at least find it understandable. But. 29 troops he has. With this bot sitting here, it's not easy for me to do what I want to do. Okay. Bye, purple. I let you stay there for a while. 
But I want to keep this stack open in the event that I have cards. I do not. Fight cards and black dint. Maybe I could <laughs> exert my will. But look, we had some opening problems, and they're getting worse. It's kind of frustrating being the North American player when you have like an aggressive South American player under you that is not letting you get cards. My play might be to go for Europe. I think yellow is getting weaker. I'm gonna wait for an opportune moment. But I can't really work with purple. I think purple is also not a friend. I have no friends. I'm just a lonely wanderer trying to keep to myself. <laughs> but people are kind of messing with me. Okay. Red goes up. Okay. Is red going to start splitting all just kind of weird? Okay. Pop those guys back. All right, fair enough. Red is just turtling in South America. Do, 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 do. Black, I have to tell you what, go up here, get a position outside of this so I can take North America. That's what a friendly person would do. This split, not so friendly. Orange. 24 troops. So yellow is much weaker. So if I'm looking for a kill, looking to kill yellow. I could kill yellow and then turn in and then be in more in Europe. I don't think it's a safe place to get a continent, but... Come on, man. Okay, this is absurd. Sorry, but I need to attack your territory. Okay, just let make sure I am able to get a card as well. <laughs> okay, I'm technically able to get a card. I, I think it's weird that with me with three cards, you left an opening to your continent. We're not friends. You're lucky I don't have cards, so I don't even get to make the decision if I'm going to hit you or not. Yellow, four cards, 12 troops. I, all right, I'm taking Europe. And then I'm going to get another turn in. Okay. And that will be just fine. And we'll see how the world reacts to it. I, I think somebody's going to hit me. I think it's inevitable. But I'm going to play my usual way, which is to put everybody in Ukraine. You thought this was going to be a video in which I didn't take Europe? <laughs> you couldn't be more wrong. Somehow, I always end up in Europe. And I still have four cards. And I end my turn. And I think people are going to hit me. I think black is going to over-aggressively take North America, which will hopefully force somebody else to hit them. Purple might just hit me. Orange might just hit me. Wow, 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 whoa. Was purple just thinking that black... Was purple seeing the future? <laughs> oh, black is just going to take all of this, and then I'm going to have to hit him anyway. Let me just hit him now. <laughs> Leave two troops. That'll slow him down. All right, but this beef between purple and black is a beautiful thing. So black should definitely leave me alone. You got your own enemy. Or... Or purple is it's just so five-headed. Black is going to take North America. Then purple will take South America. Five, 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 five. We squeeze out the players in Asia and Australia. Is it that deep? Or did purple just say, I have more troops than you? I'm going to hit your continent. <laughs> I don't know. But actually it could be a brilliant play if the idea is to play nice after recapturing South America. But there's friendlier ways of doing it than hitting a bunch of troops. 
Red is actually not that far ahead. Red has been turtling for a long, long time. And it's actually, like, not that far ahead of me. I feel like at this point, usually, the player in Australia, generally, has a significant troop lead on me by the time I take Europe on turn, I don't know, 10 or something. Turn... Oh, it's only round 8. All right. Orange enters North America. This is going to disturb everything. Because I think Black was actually just about to take North America. This throws Black off. And I don't think it forces Black to necessarily go for South America, but that is how Black is interpreting this. Okay. And I expect like this six. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. <laughs> get him, get him, get him, get him. Ah! <laughs> No! <laughs> That's fine, man. I haven't had a continent yet. I can live without a continent. What, what do I care, man? <laughs> it was worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> Whatever, man. I don't need Europe. I don't care, bro. <laughs> why, do you, why do you hate me so much, man? I've really done nothing to black. Oh my goodness. And now you're going to try to card block orange, meaning I'm forcing orange to smash more of my troops? <laughs> okay. Suit so yourself. I'm taking a look at purple. I'm, I, I want purple to get a few more cards. I want black to potentially get a few more cards. But at some moment here, it's going to be a kill. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think I make it known. I stay friendly with purple while starting a position up here and I keep them all there there's also some thought hmm, to, to try to go for orange but orange is going to be turning in so I'm leaving some here so that black doesn't break me I'm going to try to actually hold a continent I'm expecting that purple will Hit green at least once, you know, twice. It's never off the table. <laughs> but I'm showing purple, hey, we can be friends. I'm not, no, I'm not hurting you. I'm not touching you. Okay, manual rolling. Purple gets it. Six, I mean, you, you might argue is not enough. Look, black's going to hit you. All right. I, purple can obviously trust me enough to keep as many troops there as they want, but they insist on maintaining the entire border. Me? You want to hit me? You can hit me. Okay. Red's just getting a card on one of these places. No? Red has a few more. Red also has five cards, and they haven't turned in yet. Red is not getting in position to kill. If I were the player in Australia, and I'm actually like the large troop leader in the game, I'm trying to keep a very active stack because it's very possible that if Red just had troops here and was able to kill either orange, either to get purple, either to run in at some point and get black, I, the game is, there's a lot of feuding. So I think if you're Red, you actually, you want to maintain the biggest stack possible. You want all these troops. If you had 17 plus 16 plus 18 troops where they could influence the game, you'd be ready to strike in the event that there's a possible kill somewhere. If you're going for Asia, you leave them all in here. <laughs> it's a rare play. If you're going for the rare Asia play, <laughs> very often red establishes the Middle East. Get active. Get this 18 out. Get it active. Get ready to kill some people, man. People are fighting. People are dying on the streets. Get out there. Get ready for war, man. Let the other countries fight, and Red could be there right away to sweep them out. All right, so Orange has a way to grab one card. They do hit me. Unreal. Unreal. Orange, you're an enemy too? You're still going? <laughs> Why? Why? Why would Orange fight me? Did not see that coming. Absolutely unreal. <laughs> what the heck? 
<laughs> this is not how you play the game, guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the heck? Actually crazy. Well, I did say if you want to hit me, you can hit me. I just didn't think you'd hit me with that many people. Am I going to have to defend all my borders? Ooh. Ooh, you couldn't get a card there. Is that what happened? All right. Well, if I'm not allowed to have a continent, I guess I'm not allowed to have a continent. I mean, it just feels like the way it is, huh? Okay. <clears throat> That's fine. I'm not going to take it back. I'll just get hit again. So I'll chill. If I, don't, if I don't get a continent, that's fine. But now that I don't have a continent, why would you hit me? I don't have a continent. There'd be no reason. <laughs> and why would Orange put more people in and keep hitting me? I don't even have a continent. Okay. Purple maintaining the defense because you know Black is going to smack. Purple, two cards, 20 troops. Just keeping tabs, keeping the tabs on the troop count. Black is actually pretty strong. Stronger than I would like. Black is somehow, f well, black didn't get a card though. Black is struggling to get a card. It's actually card blocked on all sides by me, purple and orange. So we'll see how that changes things. So even though I don't have a continent, I am getting an extra card per turn which is probably worth more than Australia, because a card's value is about 2.33, somewhere between 2 and 3, depending on how good of a turn-in you get. So it's, there's more value in getting a card than holding Australia. So in that way, I think I'm actually, even if I don't take Europe, which I might do as soon as I have cards, like right now. Um, but uh, I'm happy enough. Seeing as how the opening went, I'm happy enough. The only problem is that literally nobody is touching red. <laughs> so the big problem here is how do I get to a position where I'm as powerful or more powerful than red at the same time that just chaos ensues on the board inevitably? Someone's going to hit somebody. People are going to die. At that moment of pure chaos... I want to be able to kill, kill, kill. <laughs> I want to be able to kill orange and then black and then purple and then first strike red. I'm hoping for some situation like that, but I'm going to need to have a few more troops. So I think I'm actually going to take Europe on my next turn because I don't think orange will be particularly well poised to hit me. Orange might be giving... Oh, you hit a six. What the heck, you crazy, crazy man. What? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, and then you just split. <laughs> so black is still card blocked. <laughs> oh. You know what? I'll give you some credit. This was a strategy I did not. I just didn't. It didn't. I didn't calculate it. Okay. I didn't see that one coming. I did not think of it. And you might be thinking if you're black, hey, this is my last, if I want to get a card, it's now or never, and it's against purple. Bam. Purple down to three cards. Oh, you're not going to get the kill. Seven units. Oh, you might get it. <gasps> and then you're going to be able to turn it. Unlucky. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> I'm up next, baby. <laughs> Give me purple. Thank you for feeding me purple. And guess what? You're next. What is pur purple has three? Okay. But then do I try to kill? If I want to kill orange at the end, I probably need to get orange now. Look. Okay. Okay. Give it to me. Yeah, black. You're done, bro. <laughs> Get out of here. All right. So I end up with South America.
I end up with South America and Africa. Where do I want to keep my troops? I think I'm just, I'm actually going to do this. I'm actually going to go like this. Oh, I get more? That's incredible. I could have even made a run at orange, but uh, that's not what I'm doing. These are the two continents that I want. And then I'm going to get out of orange's way. I think you're more likely to want Africa. Or sorry, North America. Um, so I'm just saying I want South America and I want Africa. I get five points of production. I'm not, I'm getting out of Europe. Orange, take your pick. North America, Europe, <clears throat> whichever one your heart desires. In an ideal world, I don't think orange is a strong enough player. If Orange could take North America and South America, and I could take Europe and Africa, we could go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Red. And we'll see what Red does here. I don't think Red is going to break me, because I just haven't done it yet. And there is an opportunity for Orange and I to work together. You too, Red? Like... Literally, this is the most insane lobby. Literally, everyone is willing to just hit the biggest numbers. This is so dumb. If you want to break me, break me. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> the one. I specifically left the one open so you don't have to do this nonsense. Orange and red are teaming up against me. We're allies. Huh. You know... <laughs> Are you gonna break my continent? Or was this... Are you trying to balance the game? Are you trying to convince Orange that they should also attack me? And this is your method of balancing the game? What is Red thinking? They are gonna break me. Insane. <laughs> Actually crazy. Unbelievable. <laughs> Everybody has hit me in a big way. Uh. All right. Which one do you want? North America or Europe? I guess you're going to take North America. Okay. Please take North America and don't break me. Don't do it. Look, we all know you can. We all know you can. You just, just don't do it, though, okay? Be as strong as me so Red doesn't get to just pick. <laughs> Good. 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 Uh, incredible. <laughs> Incredible stuff. All right. Mm, one stack or no? I don't want to have two stacks. Okay. I don't want two stacks. And if Red wants to break me, fine. I'll be keeping here. But if you're breaking me, then you're letting Orange get more powerful, which is, I mean, weird if you're Red and you're trying to win. I would think, but I guess Red has another idea. 14 on 26 for a while and then break me. No. <laughs> okay. You didn't have to do it that way. Okay. Okay. I mean, okay. You don't like me, Red. Did I do something? Oh, you don't like orange? You want to fight us both? That's cool with me. <laughs> orange and I, we've developed a moderate friendship here. 
Look, you want to, you think with 66, you're going to take both of us on. It's close, but we got you. We got you covered. We have 70. You only got 66. So it's not looking good for you, Red. It's just not looking good. Orange goes next with five, turns in, and must attack Red. Must attack Red. After what Red just did, you must be attacking Red. <laughs> you have to work with me, Orange. Orange down to 14. If I went before Orange, I'd find a way to, to kill him. Ridiculous. <laughs> you're not going to kill us both. You're not strong enough. You just weren't quite strong enough to kill us both. I guess that was Red's plan. But now what you've done is you've made two enemies. The thing is, I can't... If Red kills Orange and gets a bunch of cards, I could be in a lot of danger. I, whatever Orange does here, I want to be in a... I need to make... I need to at least think to myself, can Red kill Orange on the next turn before I decide what I'm going to be doing? Orange, maybe not going back for North America or maybe doing it through Europe just for a laugh, just to get rid of a little bit more Red. Orange takes back. And then hopefully fortifies a border against red. I want to get these troops out here. I don't 100% trust orange. Orange. Yeah, okay. Come on, bro. <laughs> Why would you do it? Why would you do it? Okay, so I don't take Africa. Then red won't hit me. I take Africa, red hits me. I don't take Africa. I guess how would you hit me? <laughs> how and why? I think. I don't know if this is right. Let me give this a try. I take a card here. And then that's it. Let's try this. <clears throat> Because I, I don't think red now has any reason to hit me and has every reason to hit orange. Orange seems not to be actually reacting to this. And red has decided to do what? <laughs> red has decided not to break orange's continent. Which I'm surprised by. Okay. <laughs> sure. Okay, maybe you will try. You'll try one time with... You didn't give yourself enough troops to guarantee that you would? Okay. <laughs> Look, whatever. <clears throat> All right, so Orange gets a bunch of troops. We're letting Orange get big. I'm expecting Orange to trust me, but the way things have gone, Orange, you know, might just hit me. They might hit that three. I got no idea. All right, Orange is mad at red. Okay, we're establishing the borders. Red, you have one more turn to try. Red is going to try. If I turn in, kill orange. I don't think I can kill orange and then kill red. So. It's going to be completely unexpected. I have a random card. <laughs> and do nothing. I have five cards, but I, I can't be killed. And red is, is certainly going to break orange. You tried last time. You just didn't get enough troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta add that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then <laughs> you use five. <clears throat> and you attack orange. And I'm just, I'm staying out of it. I don't need to outproduce people if they're fighting each other. I'm ending up with more troops on the board after every turn. Because red is using all of his two on seven. You almost had him. The miracle roll. Um, red is just using more. So I'm, I'm going to catch up. I, I'm actually surprised red has more than me. We both have five cards. 
I'm actually shocked that Red's still the way he's played. <laughs> Orange, I'm a, I'm a buddy. You should definitely just take this seven. Put some bunch of people here if you want. This is just like a little guard. This is just like a little protector. Take, take the seven, bro. I'm not going to hit you. Not immediately, at least. Okay. Maybe you'll get it. He got it. Red is turning in next turn. And I'm expecting red to go wild <laughs> on orange. That's my expectation. Uh, you know what? Other way. Give me that guy. I don't need anybody on Madagascar. Um, okay. Wait. They win here. Um, okay. It's very simple. A random card. Okay. And now, red is turning in and has no reason to attack me. Because I don't have a continent. Why take a continent if people are just going to hit you? <laughs> and if red is going to hit orange, to hold my beer and let me watch what's about to happen. Let me sit back. Wait, what the heck? You better be going through this way, bro. <laughs> You're not hitting me. Absolute no way. Oh, imagine he hits my 13. The insanity of it. Orange also has five. And if red smacks orange, orange hates red. They're both going to use dozens of troops to fight each other. This is the beauty of not, not taking the continent back. He found a way. He found a way to hit me. Unbelievable. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> so I don't get two troops on the next turn. Oh, you almost had me there. So I don't get two troops on the next turn. My 13 is now, like, active, if I'm going to be able to make a kill on the next turn. How does red have so many troops? Actually crazy. Orange is turning in. The hope is that orange reduces enough of Red's troops. And again, just trust me. <laughs> I've done nothing to you. I've, I've kept it myself. Trust me. Just go here and leave a big stack there. Or do this. Do whatever. Do whatever you want. Okay. Orange never starts from within the country that he's trying to take. He starts from outside of the country in some like random territory and then runs all the way in. It, watch this. He's going to leave a giant stack here and leave this border wide open. <laughs> Unnecessary. I'm, I'll, I'll take care of that one for you. <laughs> he does? Why are you defending against me? That makes no sense to defend against me. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't want to turn in because I'm not killing. I could kill Orange. I choose not to. I choose to fortify this way. And we'll see if Red hits Orange again. All right, we can do this dance for a while. It's working out for me. I'm I'm coming out ahead <laughs> just by staying out of it. If people are going to while out and fight each other, I'll just mind my own business. Just let, I'll just take a two-point continent. Just I'll just take South America. You got you got to keep fortifying there. Crucial, crucial. A couple more in Indonesia and then 5 should be enough. <laughs> hey orange how do you think the game would change if you decided to defend Alaska? <laughs> I don't know. Alaska. Sorry about that. I'm a dad. I had to sneak one dad joke in. All right, so red gets orange, but I think this is orange's turn where he actually, like, does something. Oh, they're coming out. They're coming out. Not too far. They're starting to come out. Red has some ideas that I might be needing this 48 at some moment. It's so obvious. 
is so obvious. I got a winning move. I got a winning move on the next play. It will work for sure. This will 100% win me the game. 100% guaranteed. Here's the winning move. Watch this. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just going to be opening up this 48 stack. <laughs> How evil is that? You know what? Yeah, put me back here. That's fine. Um, the 48 has been activated. Red may or may not have cards. They got 10 cards. And they can't get to my 56. Oh my gosh. I've opened him up. He's going for it. Can he actually kill orange and does that matter? He can kill orange, get four cards. First strike me. Man, I hope I didn't play the losing move. See, you got to get through 37 more in order to get four cards, but then you get the right of first striking me. This actually, did I just throw the game away? Hmm. If he's going to increda roll. Wait, did I throw the game away? I've been sitting here not killing orange. I don't think he's going to do it. I don't think he's going to kill orange. Which would be weird. He is going to kill orange. And then he first strikes me. He can't get to my 56. He didn't break my continent. But he's gonna, he is gonna be able to turn in. Oh no. I thought this would be too costly for him. But we're about to find out. So he's got all the territory in the world. <clears throat> he's gonna turn in, get up to 10 more. But I am gonna outnumber him. Okay. Interesting. So I specifically was avoiding this, and I even set it up and allowed Red to do it. And we're about to see if it was right. So he turns in, he gets 10. He adds there? You got enough to take out these guys. Yeah, you, sure. I mean, the obvious move is to attack South America. Okay, he's put it together. <clears throat> and I have five cards, five good cards. And I'm about to go wild. Let's see if I can take over the entire world on my next turn. Are you gonna leave the 11 there? That's too funny. <laughs> okay, yeah, you should break me. And I guess you can take and take and then hit my 16. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But I'm turning in, I got a bunch. I'm gonna be running around. Wait, is that a heartbeat sound? I've never heard that before. Wait. That was not inserted in post. That was a heartbeat sound. All right. Give me 69. That's kind of cool. I hit a seven. Whatever, man. It's just how far can you go? Ah, great. Um, thanks. Are you congratulating me on winning the game? What does thanks mean? Yeah, we hit the 13, whatever. Really? Wait, how many do I have? Wait, what? All right. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. I had to use them all. Hit this three. Well played. Good game. Wow, that was insane. Everybody's going to be a novice, but it was still kind of a crazy wild game. Sometimes it's not easy, but I think the key there, uh, there's two things, is I was just not taking a constant. I gave Red the opportunity to throw the game away, although I did think for a minute maybe I'd be messing up. But they're all beginners and novices. 